Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 27. Family Dynamics in Canada. The following dialogue is related to Unit 1, Overview of Canada from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 1.18. Family Dynamics. 1.19. Disciplining Children in Canada. In this dialogue, Sadia and Obasi meet at the local playground. They talk about disciplining children in Canada and family laws. <sighs> it is nice to sit down and let the kids play for a while. Maybe they will use up some of their energy. It has been a really tough day, and I need a break. I know. It is good to see your daughter Jasmine and my son Pablo get along well. Although they are getting too old to have fun in the playground, you do seem a bit down. What is going on? Uh, adjusting to life in Canada has been stressful for my whole family, including myself. I'm having trouble adapting to life here. Things are just so different. I know what you mean. Just look around this playground. Families here look different from families where we have lived. And the responsibilities of each family member are different in each family, too. Look at who is taking care of the children here. It is not common to see this back home. That is just it. I feel like my responsibilities here have completely changed. I find being a parent here challenging. My children are adjusting to the new culture faster than I am, and I do not always agree with some of the things that they are doing. I remember feeling the same way. When I first got here, my teenager, Miriam was misbehaving a lot, and it felt like everything was out of control. I did not know what to do because I heard that the laws in Canada protect children from neglect and abuse and that everyone is responsible for reporting child abuse. I was worried that if I used ways of disciplining children that are common where I am from, like physical punishment, that the government would take my children away from me. I felt powerless as a parent. I know what you mean. When I was a child, my parents hit, punched, beat, kicked, and threatened to hurt me whenever I misbehaved. Here, no matter how much stress family members are under, behavior like that is illegal, and the law allows the government to remove children from an unsafe household. Exactly. If you do not mind telling me, how did you handle it when your child misbehaved? Well, first I try to take time to calm down when frustrated. I heard children adjust to the new culture faster than their parents do, so that parents may not agree with some of the things that their children do, like how they dress, speak, or act. I know what you mean. I feel that way too. And then, I looked for services available to families to protect children and keep the family together. I also talked to a counselor for advice about other ways to discipline that did not include physical punishments, neglecting and refusing affection, denying food or basic needs, which are all against the law here. What did the counselor say? And more importantly, did it work? Some things worked better than others. When I was frustrated with Mariam, who is 13 years old, I made consequences of unacceptable behavior clear and denied privileges and set limits on activities she enjoyed. For example, she was not allowed to play video games, and I put a time limit on watching television for one week. When she did something positive, 
I rewarded good behavior by letting her choose what we eat for dinner or extending time limits on how long she can play video games. Okay, that sounds like it could work for older children. What about toddlers and babies? Not all of those methods would work for my newborn baby. Of course. Sometimes as parents, we need to remind ourselves of the differences between children and adults in maturity, age, knowledge, strength, and experience. When your newborn baby becomes a toddler, you could give the child a chance to be alone in a safe place for a couple of minutes to calm down. Or, if the child is misbehaving, direct the child's attention to another activity. Okay. I can see how that might work. I can give you the name of a counselor to find out about other ways to discipline that are acceptable in Canada, if you want. Thanks. I will think about it. It has been really helpful talking to you, as another parent who has dealt with these difficulties too. We all go through it. Do not be discouraged. End of Dialogue Unit